right this is the PX29 uh, the front cover of the model for Model Link uh, one, one of the six that I got over the weekend uh, this is number two uh, I'm going to do a better review than the last one it was just a quick view of what what came in uh, the PX29 is a narrow gauge locomotive that ran on a 750 millimeter track uh, English figures if you like them it's 29 and a half inches it was made in Warsaw 1929 21 of them were made 13 went to the PKP line and uh, one and is and is preserved in the Polish uh, museum and one in Switzerland. I think there's a couple others uh, elsewhere they've been preserved. I know three were sent off for preservation, but I don't know where the other two went to. Uh, right, getting on with the actual model itself. I'll show you the pictures now. Some of the parts, as you can see here, the part for the chassis is quite extensive this is not a beginner's model don't think it is um, you're going to have to take a long time before building something like this you can buy it now, put it in your stash and when you're ready to build it, you can build it but, uh, the parts are very small and uh, quite fiddly in parts on it uh, plus the fact you've got the tender to deal with as well uh, my vein of my life is the wheels. <laughs> uh, there's quite a lot on here. There's uh, there's eight on the loco and eight on the tender. So that's 16 wheels altogether to be made up. Um, I, I I have an idea, and I'm I'll I'll be telling you that in the steam engine uh, vid when I do it. Right, and uh, go to the next picture. We see the uh, red stuff. Uh, right, the red stuff is. Uh, all the bits and pieces you can see on the main picture on the cover um, smokestack, the buffer beams, the wheels and some of the other bits and pieces they're all in red and uh, this depicts these pieces here there is other red which is on the inside of the chassis uh, they do that so they can see uh, on inspection um, any any really bad leaks of oil where there shouldn't be any uh, that sort of thing uh, the rest of the pictures uh, the cab and the boiler uh, as you can see uh, they're quite big pieces uh, same with the tender here it's got a nice big sheet of it there um, there are several drawings in here and uh, instructional pages there's um, three four there's four those no, four pages of writing and uh, what was it one two three four five six seven eight nine nine uh, drawings of the actual parts for the loco one of those is actually a full side view left and right of the loco <coughs> Excuse me. I've also included the picture from the preserved one in uh, Poland, which the picture is here. As I said, this is going to take quite some time. Uh, as you see, the end cover it's got a load of photographs on it as well. So uh, I think for now, that's the best I can tell you about this. Uh, Monolink parts go together well as long as you accurately cut them out. That's the one thing you've got to do accurately cut them out and neatly. Uh, use a lot of new blades cutting card out. They soon, the card soon blunts the blades. So if you're going to do one of these, make sure you've got plenty of sharp blades in your, in your toolbox for doing them. Right, I think that's about all I can say for this at the moment when and if I build I will uh, give you more information as I build so for me and Carla see you all soon keep up modeling don't forget to subscribe and like 
So until next time, bye for now.